You know, we've all been encouraged to stop and smell the roses, but a local photographer has encouraged everyone to stop and smell the sunflowers. Yeah, he has decided to use a grassy hill on the side of Highway 62 as his canvas. You may have noticed the row of tall sunflowers planted on the north side of Highway 62, the cross town between Cedar and 28th Avenues. And that is where we find WCCO's Aristea Brady. And Aristea, you spoke to artist Tom Henry today, and we all want to know what motivated him. Yeah, that's a big question, isn't it, Amelia? Well, Tom Henry told us he lives in the area, and he always thought that this spot would be a perfect spot for something beautiful, for those that wanted to take a walk, even those up on the airplanes, and those over here in these cars might be able to look at and take a nice pause. So with the permission and a little funding from the Metropolitan Airport Commission, this is what his masterpiece looks like 365 sunflowers later. 31st, 30th, 29th. 28, 27, 6, 25, 24th, yeah. It'd be this big one. <laughs> May 24th. Yeah, this one here would be my birthday. MSP resident Goldie Combs combs for her little piece of gold. 600 feet of flowers. It goes all the way to the end. A landscape Henry calls his long and winding road. Sort of a serpentine line of sunflower. There are plants about this big until they sprouted up to be sunflowers. People from all over the state. I wonder how in the world he ever got the idea. Walk up this grassy hill to witness the short-lived spectacle for themselves. Good for this kid. I mean, what a great visual for late summer. But I think it's wonderful because the land is not used for anything, really. Until now. The land now used to entertain, even in the most boring of traffic. It'd be nice to look at something, yeah, besides the car in front of you. <laughs> A landscape to transport you. I think my best memories of sunflowers have been in Tuscany and Italy. And those who take the time to stop and smell the sunflowers hope Henry's efforts will inspire more of the same. At least in my propel our city council people uh, to think about doing something like this on a broader scale and help out artists. It's a nice change, and I think there should be more of it. Yeah, it's lovely. Just lovely. Okay, so one of the things that Henry told us is that he likes how each sunflower is just as unique as the people who come and visit them. And Amelia, wouldn't you know it? We actually are standing right now. Okay, here's November. Now go back. October 29th. Do you see this flower right here, Amelia? Mm -hmm. That's an important day to you, isn't it? October 29th. That would be my birthday. Your birthday. And I want you to take a look at your sunflower here. How is it? Uh, How tall know, is it? It, it? You know, it's a little bit shorter, Amelia, but I think it's prettier. I'll tell you that. I think it's much prettier than the other sunflowers. <laughs> Thanks, Aristea. Well, listen, we know that Henry is an avid photographer, but is he a gardener? Yeah, good question. Ready for that surprise? No. In fact, this is the first time he's ever gardened in his entire life. It's pretty unbelievable when you come out here and see it for yourself. And if you do so, go to his Facebook page afterwards. We're going to link you to that page, WCCO.com. Let him know what you think. All right. Maybe get some gardening tips from him. That's okay. right. Thank you, Aristea. What a cool oh, idea. Nice. People, people seem to really like that.